Legacy waste affects communities, nature, and the economy. A specific waste is heavy metal pollution. Actinide metals are radioactive elements. The elements are inner transition metals on the periodic table. The metals are also produced in the labs. Gold is an example of an outer transition metal. Plutonium and uranium are fuel sources for nuclear energy. Radioactivity can contaminate and impact public health and environmental conditions. Ecological threats impede environmental and social sustainability. Heavy metal pollution can accumulate in air, land, or water. The federal government created safeguards to limit uncontrolled and restricted hazardous waste releases. A specific safeguard is the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act. The act is a comprehensive safeguard honored in the 16 domestic economy sectors. An acronym of the standard is RECOL. The federal government classified four categories of waste under the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act. Each class begins with a prefix F, P, K, or U. The groups are distinct and represent a specific waste type. Waste prioritized by the government can contain carcinogens. The waste can also contain tetragens and other toxins. Physical and chemical properties determine the RECOL waste type. Waste management reduces the risk associated with uncontrolled and unauthorized releases. An example of a public safety concern is radiation. Radioactive waste is a pollutant prioritized by the EPA and other government agencies. Particular pollutants can affect abiotic and biotic factors. Land degradation affects the tangible and intangible value of property. Depreciating property can also influence the consumer demand for real estate. Market trends can indicate the perceptions of people concerned for their health and wellness. The negative externalities can transform prime real estate into uninhabitable conditions. Details in 40 CFR Part 261, Subpart D, describes hazardous waste. Radon release from hazardous waste results from radioactive decay. Uranium in a form outside of the natural state can produce dangerous radon levels. An element can transform during radioactive decay. The breakdown is evident in signatures produced from the action. Nuclear fission is an atom spinning process. Action precedes energy generation in the production process. Unstable heavy metals are optional for fission. Fusion is a bonding action and differs from fission. Hydrogen fused during the process produces helium. Safeguards are essential to reduce the risk associated with fusion and fission. Risks occur when substances are altered during complex processes. Legacy waste is a concerning priority for the federal government. Various industries generate legacy waste throughout the United States, including the energy and defense sectors. In worst case scenarios, generators created national priorities. Federal government created circular, EPCRA, and other standards to mitigate environmental harm. Nuclear energy production is a utility service in the United States. Legacy waste generated at former weapon testing facilities is a priority. The priority is due to the environmental harm caused by the sites. People assembled and disassembled nuclear weapons at the sites. A specific site is the Amarillo, Texas Pantex facility. Legacy waste, radioactive waste, and heavy metals contaminated land near and in the facility. Private sector and government-owned facilities were the focus of various remediation projects. Superfund sites on the national priority list displayed severe conditions. The sites required extensive cleanup. The Amarillo, Texas Pantex facility was a national priority and listed in 1994. The EPA also placed classified contaminated land in St. Louis County on the list.